Hi there folks and welcome to this demonstration of the Calvarian Integration Pack for Runbook Management. The Integration Pack gives you an easy way to manage your runbooks from within Orchestrator. The Integration Pack gives us four new objects, Get Runbook Jobs, Get Runbooks, Start Runbook and Stop Runbook Jobs. The configuration is very straightforward. We enter the web service URL for Orchestrator the username, the domain and password that we wish to connect as. Let's take a look at the get runbooks object. So after we've selected our configuration we can enter a number of filters to specify the runbooks that we're interested in. We can see we can filter on multiple fields. In this case I'm going to use the path and I'm going to look for all of the runbooks that contain runbook management within the path. As you can see that's the runbooks within this folder. Let's run that in the runbook tester and see what we get. So if we expand to see the published data from there, we can see our five runbooks as we would expect and the information that we'd expect to see about them. Let's just expand out the path there so you can see the full details. So all of the runbooks matched contain runbook management within the path. Okay, moving on to get runbook jobs, I'm going to build upon that. So I'm going to use the get runbooks object to get an ID and then I'm going to use that ID to say these are the jobs that I'm interested in. Again we've got multiple filters here particularly interesting is the status field and you can see we have a browser for the acceptable statuses. I'm not going to use that this time though. I'm just going to get all of the runbook jobs that exist for this runbook. So we're interested in the runbook loopy. And at the moment there aren't any runbook jobs but we'll run that anyway and just confirm that. So Let's take a look at the runbook history. And we can see job count is zero at the moment. So let's start the runbook and we'll run that again. So it's starting up loopy. We'll start our runbook, get the runbook jobs. And a quick refresh. And this time we can see the job count is 1 and if we look down we can see the job status. The status is currently running as we would expect. Okay, building on that again. So this time we're going to get the runbook ID again and we're going to start the runbook using the integration pack. As you can see I've passed in the ID of the runbook that I want to start. Our runbook doesn't have any parameters but if you do we can enter parameters. So we need to enter the parameter name and the value of the parameter. So we can see if we had two parameters, one named test and one named param2, we can enter that in and the values that would be passed through to the runbook. And obviously that could come from published data or somewhere else. So as we don't have any parameters I'm just going to reset that. And you can see that I've got a loop enabled on this activity. So let's see what the loop does. And you can see it's going to execute 10 times basically. So let's check that in and execute it and see what happens. So we can see that started now and the start run book activity is running. If we look at the history for the loopy runbook, we can see there are a number there started, and there we go, that's slowly increasing. And there we go, there's our 10 copies plus our one original that we're still running from before. Very good. And we can see that that activity is completed. And there we go, it started off 10 copies of the runbook. Okay, our final activity is the stop runbook jobs and again this builds on the previous activities so I get the runbook ID, I get a list of all of the active jobs at the moment 
can see we've got a filter in there so the status is not completed jobs and then we pass through those details to the stop run book jobs activity so let's execute that and keep an eye on loopy see what happens and just wait a moment for that to refresh there we go we can see that our jobs have been stopped and if we go into the log history and open that up we can show it, see the status shows stopped by user just the same as if you click the stop button in the runbook designer itself thanks a lot for watching this demonstration of the Calvarian integration pack for runbook management if you have any questions please contact us at www.calvarian.com